Celebrityhood was confusing. During my first attempt at entrepreneurship, the fact that you could create a virtual profile that would attract followers from all over the world was a novelty that confused many of us. I got trapped into thinking that because I was making new online connections, a prosperous business would follow. Nothing was further from the truth. As time passed, there was more information regarding how to grow your business, how you should never, ever give up on your dream, and how people had earned millions from a good idea and some hard work. Many of my acquaintances wanted to follow entrepreneurship. They were investing time and money in mentorship programs to find inspiration and guidance. I followed those messages. I committed to succeed as a blogger and consultant, and after three years, I was nowhere near my goal. I realized after some analysis that the missing bit of information was that for every success, there were thousands of failures no one was talking about. We used to repeat Thomas Edison's principle of never giving up because we could be so close to success. But this can also be seen as commitment bias. The key is to find the balance that makes us happy. While I was still immersed in the attitude of never giving up as an online marketing consultant, my children, Diego and Rose, who were 15 and 12, put a mirror in front of me with their poignant comments. I saw things for what they really were and decided to call it a day. Entrepreneurship wasn't for me, and it is not for everyone, as it is widely acknowledged today. I just needed that little push to be honest with myself and admit I was uncomfortable doing what I was doing. I was hurt and reacted swiftly by organizing my ideas. I had to revise my goals. I came to the conclusion that there are no magical formulas to success. Sometimes you have to give up on a dream that is not feasible. And it is very important to listen to your gut feeling. The change of direction eventually led to what I later succeeded at. The wave. A feasible approach to health, success and happiness. Thank you for listening. This is the 28th chapter of Clara Thinks to Us, available on Amazon. You can buy the ebook, which you can read on your Kindle, on your phone, or your tablet, or you can order a printed copy from amazon.com.co.uk.de.italy, whatever you are. Thank you.